I know that the spring weather is here and everybody is itching to go camping, but let me give you five pro tips to get you ready. First thing you wanna do is check your tires. These tires, by and large, are made in China and they're very persnickety about air pressure. So we wanna check the air pressure on the sidewall of the tires. If it, you can't read that, look at this, the data sticker on, on the travel trailer. It'll tell you what the air pressures need to be in the tires as well. If it's 35 pounds, put it at 35 pounds. That way you know that you've done all that you can do for that tire to be right while it's on the highway. Unfortunately, in the times that we live, they only make these tires to live for so long. And you can find on the tires a DOT date. Okay, so this tire here was made the third week of 2020. The tires, when they get up around four, maybe five years old at the most, it's time to change them because they just don't make them to last long. If you're starting to see dry rotting, cracking in the sidewalls, just do yourself a favor and go ahead and replace the tire. You don't want to be on the side of an interstate because you gambled with dry rot. Next thing we're going to want to check out is the propane system. We're going to turn the bottles on. We're going to check our regulator, see is it showing green for us. We've got gas in the tanks, so the valves are open. We should see green on the regulator. We'll go inside, check gas at the stove. Do the burners light up? Um, but something else maintenance wise, uh, you should be getting your propane system checked for leaks once a year. I know most people don't do that, but uh, that is the standard. Uh, that'll be something that you would need to have a professional do, but uh, VLRV would be happy to do it for you. We can come out, do a leak down test and uh, let you know if you've got a leak somewhere. Another thing that you're gonna to wanna to do going into camping season is we wanna check the battery. It's the battery right here on a travel trailer. It's gonna be out here on the tongue and your fifth wheel. It's gonna be in a compartment, but we wanna make sure that the water levels inside the battery are where they're supposed to be so that the battery will charge properly, hold a charge properly and get you through the summer. If you've got a camper, uh, or a motor home that's got the ceiling assemblies where you can access the air conditioner. We're just gonna wanna pull the grate off on the, these Coleman's, the filter. I'd take a little pocket knife, and that way I can get at the end of it, slide it out, check the filters. The filter's clean. If they're not, clean them up, clean them up. Let them get good and dry before you put them back. And then right up here in the air return, is your evaporator. When you're checking your air conditioners, make sure it's ready for, for the summertime. You wanna make sure that free sensor is seated nice into the evaporator so that you don't have an ice over event. Um, our customer here, she's got a 12 volt refrigerator. It's not the traditional uh, absorption refrigerator that you would see. Uh, these cool down rather quickly. Um, but if you do have the old school absorption type refrigerators, you're definitely going to want to have them on 24 hours before you leave on your trip. You want it nice and cold in there. And two, you know what? Turn it on a few weeks beforehand. That way, you, if there's an issue with it, you can call a company like us to come out and check it out and see what we need to do to get it going again. I know a lot of these things you guys can do yourself, but if you need a little help, call VLRV. We'll be glad to help. <laughs>